we've heard a little bit of, of how Ricky Farr and Don North came to the point where they are now with a company called Riva Audio. And out of all of their work, uh, designing speakers, building transducers and amplifiers and so on, all from the point of view of wanting to recreate the music that is played off out of these speakers as accurately as possible, uh, they came up with uh, a couple different uh, portable speaker products. This is the category that, that they've been working on. And we have a picture of them uh, called Riva Products. I think we can pull that up and show those just to give people a sense of, of what it is we're talking about. Uh, and there are basically two models here. Uh, Don, why don't you take us through these models real quick? Sure. So the larger ones you see at the rear is the Turbo X. That's our first product we introduced uh, at the beginning of this year. That's a high-performance mobile uh, Bluetooth speaker. All of our speakers, um, the Turbo X and then the smaller ones beside it, the, the Riva S, feature our patented now uh, Trillium technology. So as Ricky was describing earlier, we have uh, a, the two-channel stereo incoming signal. That goes through an algorithm we developed, uh, which we named Trillium, which upmixes the two channels into three channels. And we reproduce those three channels through a left-facing speaker, a forward center facing speaker and a right facing speaker. And so we do this on both the larger Turbo X as well as the smaller Riva S. And then to help support those three active speakers, we have two passive bass radiators on the front and two on the rear. So there's actually a total of seven transducers all around making sound. And when you listen to uh, the speakers in the room, you get a very wide and deep sound field, uh, more similar to what you would normally associate with a traditional hi-fi speaker than a little kind of plastic uh, speaker box, which kind of shouts at you from some of the others. So the, the we Turbo actually have a, we have a picture of the of the Trillium, a diagram anyway, of the Trillium uh, concept, how it works, mm -hmm. uh, called Riva Trillium. There it is. There you go. Uh, exactly. So, yeah, you got two speakers, one facing left, one facing right and one facing center. Uh, and I guess this algorithm that that takes two channels and moves them into three. Can you describe a little bit more about what that does? Yeah, so that algorithm is basically taking the information that's already in the in the stereo recording, and it's just <laughs> reprocessing it and, and 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 you know adding and subtracting and manipulating it to create a, a kind of a virtual left-right speaker outside the box. So when you are listening to it, you do hear uh, a left-to-right stereo pan. You do hear the depth of the sound field, um, and also you don't have the the normal comb filtering like you do with the traditional pair of speakers where in, in tight sweet spot where you have to be specifically set here and here and you have to sit, you know, kind of like equal distance between them to get the nice big sound field. But the minute you go off axis, everything kind of collapses and you start hearing just one speaker louder than the next. With the Trillium processing and how we're reproducing it with the with our products, you can actually sit on axis or off axis. You get a nice wide sound field and the vocals are always still locked uh, to the speaker. So it's especially a beneficial for watching movies and, and playing games as well as listening to music. Mm -hmm. Ricky, does the does this small little speaker uh, come anywhere near approaching what you were doing with the three channels in a live sound application? Hey, <coughs> dimensionally, <coughs> you know, one is a propeller, a beautiful Merlin engine, small propeller plane like a Spitfire. Mm -hmm. The other is a jet engine. <clears throat> mm. You know, if I'm doing, <clears throat> excuse me, Guns N' Roses in Metallica live at JFK Stadium, Washington, I got 72,000 people in there. On either side of the stage, I have four high, 20 wide, right? Four mm -hmm. high, 20 wide, with two 18-inch woofers in each each cabinet getting 1,500 watts, mm. okay, up and up above. Basically, I've got a 240,000-watt PA. Mm. That, if you stood within 50 yards of that PA, it could truly give you a haircut. So <laughs> it's, it's a totally different animal. 